Yes, this is the IAWC uh, movie channel here. And uh, I'd like to do a little reporting, freelance reporting on this uh, Paul Palango character that at one time we out the, the injured workers, the abused uh, injured workers there, they asked Paul Palango for help in their fight against uh, the corruption around the WCB and all that. And he, he sent me an email uh, saying that although he agreed that we were being abused, uh, that uh, he wasn't interested in fighting the fight for us. But he sure sure has done a 180 degree on uh, on this uh, Vancouver's police deal uh, you know and to me I wonder uh, how much he got paid or what they did to him did they threaten him to make him uh, have such a turnabout and and his views on uh, the, the RCMP and uh, the Vancouver City Police talking about how uh, if the if they hadn't shot the guy he might have went on to di did do something else the guy that stole the truck I mean how many people in this town have uh, records for stealing cars I one has about 120 that I I kind of know about I don't, I, never, I don't really follow it but about 120 times this person has been charged and and uh, they just they charge him and then let him go and he goes out and steals another vehicle now uh, to me this is just asinine why don't they take this person out and say well and do what they do up in the Northwest Territories with drunk drivers uh, if you get caught drunk driving up there after a certain you might get away with it once but twice you're definitely going to jail and but you're not going to jail to sit in there and watch colored TV they charge you rent on the cell you're you're sleeping in and you have to go out and work, do your day's work, so you don't lose your job, which is a good idea. And you have to pay rent, not only on the jail cell that you're sleeping in, but you have to pay rent on your apartment, or you have to pay the rent for your family, wherever they are, or your mortgage, whatever. But it costs you money to stay in the cells. Well, here, we may not be able to, we might be able to do something like that, but we could also put these characters to work, cleaning the banks of the river, the Fraser River. I mean, there's a lot of work that needs to be done along there, the pollution, you know, to clean up the river banks and, you know, get rid of all these blackberries that are growing up everywhere and make, make we could make this into a park-like uh, uh, community. But uh, instead, what do we do? We, we, uh, we charge them and kick them to the curb. And Paul Palango now, now apparently, if you believe everything this this guy says, uh, now they, you know, he, he's agreeing with their methods, eh, by saying that, that this is their training and all this other kind of shit. Well, my take on it is, if this is their training to kick down people's doors and pull this kind of shit and shoot people that are walking up the street, you know, whether they got something in their hand or not, and kill them if they got nothing to do with the crime that was reported then Mr. Palango should dig his head out of somebody's ass I don't know whose head whose ass he's got his head up but he's got his head up somebody's ass and uh, Mr. Palango go about your business and sell books because you're not needed by the community apparently if you got these kind of views and you're gonna come out back in the police and get lost we don't need you because what the police are doing is wrong the citizens of this country have certain inalienable rights and uh, and the police don't have the right to take them out. You see, most people don't realize the police are strictly there to enforce the laws. And even the judge, you know, they, they, they act like these judges are omnipotent beings and, and all this shit. You know what a judge is? A, a judge is a lawyer. That's all he is. He's stuck into the, he's stuck in that desk. It's not the judge I have the respect for, it's what he stands for. He stands for that little lady with the scales. You know, the ones that balance, are supposed to be balanced? That's who the judge represents. That's who you respect. The judge is just a man, just like everybody else. He's a lawyer. He's, he's a lawyer that's went through the whole thing and he's been appointed to become a judge. He's not no different than any other man. You see, and it's like the police. Everybody says, oh, the police, the police. But most 
people don't realize the police are actually employed by the public. That's who employs these people. Nobody else. The government is employed by the public. The army is employed by the public. We are the power in this nation. But we have allowed these people to get out of hand. And they figure that they do not need us anymore. Well, we have to show them that they do. Without us, they don't have a job. This is how it's got to be explained. Black and white, cold, clinical facts. We are the employer when it comes to them. Not the other way around. So Mr. P Palango, you go about your business. I, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed that I ever asked you for help in, in, in the injured worker question because it's quite apparent like you're, you're for sale to the highest bidder and apparently somebody put in a pretty high bid to get your opinion. So anyways, you're not even worth any more time. That's the end of this one.